The United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE Agency says its Enforcement and Removal Operations ERO in Boston, Massachusetts has arrested an unlawfully present Jamaican national on immigration charges. The suspect was recently arrested and charged with multiple counts of rape and sexual assault in Mashpee, Massachusetts. This unlawfully present Jamaican national posed a significant threat to the public safety of our community, said ERO. Boston Field Officer Director Todd M. Lyons, when someone who has violated immigration law and has been deemed a public safety threat, ERO Boston will apprehend that person and seek to have them removed. Our commitment to enforcing immigration law and protecting our resident is paramount to our mission. We will not fail in carrying out that mission, he added. ICE said the 52-year-old citizen of Jamaica, who has been unlawfully present in the United States for more than two years, was arrested by local police on two counts of rape and one count of assault to rape. He was arraigned in the Falmouth District Court in Falmouth, Massachusetts, on October the 27th, I said. It said that Jamaican National was originally admitted to the U.S. under a visitor immigration visa in July 2020, but he failed to abide by the conditions of his visa and remained more than two years beyond its expiration. Following his arraignment on the rape and assault charges at Falmouth District Court, I said ERO Boston issued an immigration detainer with the court seeking his custody. Despite the existence of the immigration detainer, I said the Jamaican National was released from the Barnstable, Massachusetts Correctional Facility on October 31st. He was arrested by ERO Boston officers without incident on November the 7th and will remain in ICE custody pending removal from the United States. In physical year 2022, I said ERO arrested 46,296 non-citizens with criminal histories. This group had 198,498 associated charges and convictions including 21,531 assault offenses, 8,164 sex and sexual assault offenses, 5,554 weapon offenses. 1,501 homicide-related offenses and 1,114 kidnapping offenses. This is sad. Yes, I know that it's not only Jamaicans that are involved in criminal activities, yes? But something seems to be genetically wrong with our people. Almost everyone in Jamaica wants to travel overseas. Worse, because the economy in Jamaica is weak yet the ones who get the chance to do so generally run foul of the law let's say overstaying your visa is not the worst thing you're going to do but it's like Jamaicans are cursed to self-destruct why though the mentality and our egos outshine the strength of our brains no if you get a chance to go into a country for six months and you overstay you should be treating it as a chance to get your money up doing all kind of works to get your money together dig the money and make sure say so you lock your money in savings whether you send it come a yard because you should have already have an account as an adult out here or you're saving it up there with you you're not supposed to be there using money to profile on people. You're not in your own country. You're on borrowed time. Anything can happen. If you get caught, you have a money can shout up a lawyer. Maybe someone can recommend a good one to you. Who to tell? That lawyer could possibly get your thing straight. Or if you get sent back home. You have a chance to start something because you did save something. As your time was not wasted, you can land on the ground running same time, getting things done. 
Who to tell? If you were smart enough, you could have able to spend your money and arrange a business marriage. Money is power. And the way to get money is to work for it. You can't lose focus this all. Being in another country illegal is like a chance to get away in the cookie jar and eat enough cookie. The cookie monster may even catch you but make you stay and say you know what since you've been doing so well in the cookie jar come help us bake some cookies meaning by showing that you are value to society you may have a chance to stay but instead you to carry the same bad mind dirty attitude evil ways with you to go pollute the people them country so that simple means it's not the lack of opportunity or less access to funds or money or being poor is the reason why most Jamaicans are how they are. It is them whole mindset and attitude. So I am trying to narrow it down. Can part of the problem be illiteracy then? Because I know some people you know who can't read and write properly. So they use ignorance to get off anything that will show that fact. Oh, me no want nobody know, say, I saw um, all my things stay and whatever. Not thinking that they should be trying to get help for it because that can be done privately. But they don't want to admit that fact. Instead of admitting they really don't understand, they end up being wrong and strong. And there's nothing that you can do to convince them otherwise. So instead, they use ignorance, crime and violence to go through life. Crime and violence is going to rot out Jamaica to the core. And where Jamaicans go, people will be giving us the side eyes. I remember... I worked at a place in Europe and my boss told me I will be the last Jamaican he employed there he said they can work and they work hard and their humor is natural but when there is a few of them working in the same place they're very disruptive and not with other nationalities you know but with their own people he sees them in action or they fight against each other. It is unlike any other nationality that he has ever experienced. And my boss was an Irishman. And you know how Irish people love Jamaicans. But we have proven to be a disappointment. It is not looking good for us right now. We are self-destructing worldwide. We need to get a grip of this. The world is watching. And if we can't work together, agree to disagree. Or another nation is going to come take over and use us as a people, as their own slaves. Stop finding excuses for wrongdoers. When you're wrong, you're wrong. And try to help them understand that fact so we can move on from there. Because others watching will say, Oh, I'm wrong, you know. But then they have an excuse why I'm wrong. I got go that route there, you know, because probably can't work for me. We can't be in a situation where because you are my friend, you never, you can never do anything wrong. Oh, or because that person is not my friend, no matter what them do, them wrong. We have to start seeing things for what they are. The younger generation is watching everything that is going on above them, you know, by adults and the people at the top, you know. And it's surprising to know if you're not think a thinking person that everything that is done by the younger generation, them watching the ones at the top doing it and getting away with it. And the thing about it is that it might not be the exact same thing but wrong is wrong and uh, wrongs them doing and getting away with it so they must say why well, if them up there so can't do that and get away with it what make we can't do it and we need to survive them have an excuse for it 
because them want to survive them doing it them get frustrated because guess what happened they are not able to get to the level where they want in society no matter what they do but yes still let's see people that is getting through so easily because of links and friendship and all of them something there so you know what they might do they might come take it they might come take for them share and them not care how because as far as i am seeing it is that these youths are looking and i'm saying yo me not worry about tomorrow you know, to them me i worry about coming and know to all the things i got right now me not know if me i got live with it tomorrow with a mentality like that where are we going to go we need people to get to the ground root of this problem why you think we're voting people and pay them the big bucks throw our taxes for them to set the groundwork and rectify things like this. Me sick and tired of hearing Jamaicans name calling and every wrong doing. It come in like say Jamaica, Jamaicans are the leader in every wrong doings going on all over the world. If it's just a little, little, little dot of a country. No ma, we need to go on better. And we need to remember say opportunities comes around once in your life. Yeah, a good opportunity come around once. Yes, when you get it, run with it. You understand? And do the best you can do with it. Until, as you know, not everything lasts forever. You have a foot to stand and to continue your journey. We are slowly losing respect worldwide. Anyway, guys, please comment. What can be the solution? Where should we start? Any ideas? Drop it in the comment section. We don't have to agree on every point, but be respectful to each other. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my platform, please. Love you all. Bye for now.